Hair is an appendage of the skin that is composed chiefly of a protein called keratin. Full-grown human hair is divided into two parts, the hair root and the hair shaft. The root is the portion of hair enclosed within the follicle and found beneath the skin surface. The shaft is the portion of hair extending above the skin surface. The hair follicle is a tube-like depression in the skin that encases the hair root. The follicle extends downward from the epidermis into the dermis. There is a follicle for every hair, although it is not uncommon for more than one hair to grow from a single follicle. In normal and healthy hair, each individual strand goes through a cycle of events, growth, fall, and replacement. On average, the entire growth process repeats itself once every four or five years. Over 63 million people in the United States suffer from some form of alopecia, the technical term for abnormal hair loss. The primary form of alopecia that barbers see most often is androgenic alopecia, or male pattern baldness, which is hair loss due to genetics, age, or hormonal changes. Alopecia areata is characterized by sudden, patchy hair loss that results in bald spots. In addition to wave and growth patterns, barbers must analyze the hair's texture, density, porosity, and elasticity. Hair texture refers to the degree of coarseness or fineness of individual hair strands. Hair texture is measured by the diameter of the strand and is classified as coarse, medium, or fine. Hair density measures the amount of hair per square inch of scalp area and is usually classified as thick, average, or thin. Hair porosity is the ability of the hair to absorb moisture and may be classified as moderate, poor, or porous. Hair elasticity is the ability of the hair to stretch and return to its original length without breaking. Observe your client's hair by using your sense of sight, hearing, smell, and touch. Sight, does the hair look dry or oily? Hearing, listen carefully to your client. Does he have health problems or is he on medication? Smell, certain scalp disorders create an odor. If the client is in general good health and the scalp is clean, the hair should be odor free. Touch, is the hair coarse, fine, wiry? It is important to recognize any abnormality in the hair or scalp so that you may either advise a client on proper treatment or to seek medical attention. Hair disorders are usually non-contagious conditions. Conishes is the technical term for gray hair, which is due mainly to the loss of the hair's natural melanin pigment in the cortical layer. Hypertrichosis is a condition of abnormal hair growth in unexpected areas. Trichoptilosis is the technical term for split ends. Trichorixis nodosa is the technical term for knotted hair and is characterized by brittleness and nodular swellings along the hair shaft. Monolithrix is the technical term for beaded hair, which breaks easily between the nodes. Fragilitis crinium is the technical term for brittle hair. There are both non-contagious and contagious disorders of the scalp. Dandruff is the presence of small white scales that usually appear on the scalp and hair. Instead of growing to the surface and falling off, these horny scales accumulate on the scalp. The following require referral to a physician. Pityriosis steatoides is a more severe form of dandruff that is characterized by accumulated greasy scales mixed with sebum. Tinea is the medical term for ringworm and is a parasitic infection. A case usually starts with a small reddened patch of little blisters that spread outward and then heal in the middle with scale-like appearance. All forms of tinea are contagious. 
Pediculosis capitis is the infestation of the hair and scalp with head lice. Lice feed on the scalp, causing severe itching, and are transmitted from one person to another by contact with infested hats, combs, brushes, and other personal items. Scabies is a highly contagious skin disease caused by the itch mite. Vesicles and pustules usually form from the irritation caused by the parasites or from scratching the affected areas. The practice of sanitation and disinfection procedures will help limit the spread of contagious disease. Thoroughly disinfect the barber chair, capes, tools, workstation, and the reception area when a threat of contagion has been recognized. Do not attempt to treat these conditions. Instead, refer the client to a physician. In addition to parasitic infections, the scalp is also susceptible to bacterial infections that require medical treatment. Psychosis vulgaris is a chronic bacterial infection involving the follicles of the beard and mustache areas. It is transmitted by the use of unsanitary towels or implements and can be worsened by irritation, such as shaving. A furuncle, or boil, is an acute bacterial infection of a hair follicle, producing constant pain. A carbuncle is the result of an acute, deep-seated bacterial infection in the subcutaneous tissue. It is similar to a furuncle, or boil, but it is larger. 